already seen in the last number of years um, just some of the more practical ways of running the firm have, have changed quite fundamentally and it's, it's really put quite a lot of pressure I would say on desktop based applications where we haven't got that ability to necessarily um, work as flexibly as a remote workforce so that uh, that availability of the platform might be impaired by connectivity issues or other things like that so I think there's going to be a need as firms think about critically about the resources that they're using in the technology side that we're going to see a continuation of that that thought process and one of the risks might be the technology being available for us to do the work and as some of these desktop applications become quite quite dated quite um should we say in need of a bit of lick of paint there's going to be i think a movement where firms acknowledge that cloud-based applications are going, to give, are going to give them that flexibility are going to give them that ability to start to mine the engagements as well and just that visibility of what's actually going on so i think there's a there's a big opportunity for the quality management standards and the implementation of them to drive a broader technology adoption across the profession as we actually critically look at whether the tools and that are being used are fit to be able to drive quality, drive culture across the, the organization. And, and I think the other opportunity that we're, we're really kind of seeing from the firms we're working with is, is that the quality management system doesn't have to be a completely independent, isolated system. The ability to perhaps bring it in alongside the engagement documentation system as well and create that linkage between what we want to achieve in terms of quality objectives and the responses to the risks we've identified alongside the actual day-to-day -day execution of the audit work is a huge opportunity to create synergy and linkage between the two. And, and then all of a sudden, the, the, the monitoring activities, the maintenance of the system, they look completely different because there's actually an automation opportunity, if you like, to be able to drive down some of the, the things that we want to achieve and aspire to as a, as a cultural leadership team into what the first year graduate is doing in a daily basis. And I think that, you know, that, that ability to push the quality management system into the engagement execution system is something that is quite exciting in terms of the ability to mine data, the ability to, to create dashboards and contact, you know, and, and pilot dashboards, if you like, to be able to oversee the population. I think that's a huge opportunity that we should be really trying to understand how we can how we can make that happen. Yeah, I, th I think those are all really good points. And I think it's, you know, it's quite surprising in a way that um, we, we've got a bit of a, a, a split, I suspect, in the profession because we've got uh, big firms, definitely technology driven, you know, all of their systems technology driven. You can't, you almost just cannot manage a big firm unless it's all, you know, on technology because you, you just wouldn't be able to get enough information about what's going on. Um, but a lot of smaller firms, and, and I've worked in various different places over the years, in, including uh, for companies that, that provide, you know, paper based uh, audit programs alongside, you know, those same audit programs in software. But I think it's always, surprised me you know i like my technology as um as some younger people tend to rather than you know some others that i talked to that are very much used to you know a paper-based environment but the pandemic if nothing else has taught us that a paper-based environment makes things usually difficult if we're trying to do stuff from home now we um seem to be fingers crossed you know getting into a very much better place from that point of view but i think you know we've maybe learned how powerful it is to be able to have software and cloud-based software that, you know, we can go anywhere and, and just connect to the cloud and access that. And the ease of, of not having to do, you know, the whole checking in, checking out and, oh, I can't work on it while you're working on it. And no, just stop. And, you know, all of that stuff that some of, some of you will be familiar with having done it, you know, over the years. So to be able to do things you know, live, like we get used to, you know, with our phones, we can do, you know, with our watches, we've got technology all on, you know, our wrist. And yet sometimes as a profession, you know, we're, we're still doing audits on paper, but we're, we're missing some, some really big opportunities, I think, to be able to streamline, to be able to really see what's going on, um, to be able to move more dynamically as the risks change and to identify where we might be perhaps falling into traps before we fall into those traps rather than waiting until after we've fallen in them.